Everyone, welcome back. This is Amy Chicken from Team Pandori. Today we're going to check out The King of Air 2. As you may know, the DX is for horizontal based games. The King of Air 2 is for vertical. That's right. If you're one of them guys that like vertical shooters, this may be the box for you. So today we're going to check this out. There are maybe only a handful of dedicated vertical gaming boxes. This one I got from the 3A store on AliExpress. And as you may notice, this is a jammer based system. There are no other ways to get power into the system other than this edge, so we need to use this. If we look around, it's very similar to the DX. We have the USB trackball port and the settings button is here. If we hold this in while turning on, we can change resolution. If we turn around, we have another USB port, a VGA, HDMI, audio out and roller bobby for the audio volume. Nothing on this side, but we get a nice little star here. On the back, another star with some screwy holes and places to mount it. So there's four screws we need to undo and we can open her up. We can see this board is very similar to the DX. It even has the passive heatsink. Underneath it is a Rockchip 3128. That's a quad core 1.5 gigahertz with two gigabits of RAM, which is 256 megabytes. Here's the micro SD. This has all the games on it. This is a 32 gigabyte Chan disk. And we get a rather nice manual. Check this. It's like all glossy. It's like the toilet paper that you don't want on your ass. I'll just skim quickly through. There is no family variant of this board. As there is no DC input, to use the Koa 2, you need to use the jammer harness attached to a power supply. VGA or HDMI can be used for video. For controls, you can either use the jammer harness or use USB input via zero delay controller or control pad. Messy spaghetti. The game's menu is very similar to a DX. We have the game's video snapshot at the bottom. And yeah, it's pretty noisy. In the settings menu, we have the IO test. You can check our buttons work. You can change our buttons around. Even on gamepad. In system settings, we can check if you want to use coins or free play. How to exit our game, pause menu. And all these doodahs. We can change our games list, difficulty, and a favorite list here. Bookkeeping. And that's about it, really. We apparently have 516 games here, from classics to newer classics. Select a game, we're given a loading screen. It's a large game, it takes a bit longer to load. And then we can play. This one's dead on patch die. There's no real evidence of input lag, but I do see some slowdown. It seems like every game that's on the FBA core has the HD screen filter set to on. And unfortunately, there's no way of turning this off. This smooths all the pixels out, making every game look like paint. Let's jump onto some Miss Pac-Man. This uses the main core, and there's no HD filter, which is great. The game is stretched out here to full screen, which gives us distortion and a very fuzzy image. What we can do is reboot while holding the settings button, and it'll change the screen resolution. Now Miss Pac-Man is a circle. Bilinear filtering is still present, giving a slight fuzz to the image. But it's still way better than before. Here's a bit of Frogger.
Danky Kang. Saxon. While the samples do play correctly, there is a lot of screen tearing. It's insane to see an almost 40 year old game run like this. Nineteen forty something. Gunbird. Using the USB arcade trackball, we can insert into the USB port, and it works fine for MAME titles. This is very similar to the DX that we had on earlier. And there's a bit of Arkanoid 2. So for the first resolution on this board, it's stretch screen. The second is better aspect ratio. And the third is the DX. Yeah, so getting a King of Air 2, we actually get a DX if we choose the lowest resolution. So in addition to the 516 games you have with the King of Air, you can top it up with a 3000 from the DX. You can only add ROMs to the DX portion of the King of Air 2. But remember, the DX has been cracked, so we can actually use Pandora on this too. Something that's never mentioned on the King of Air 2 information pages is support for CGA, which is video coming out from the Jammer Connector. As you can see here, we only. So with the price, around $50 to $60, with 3,500 and odd games, yeah, this is pretty good bang for buck. But only if you like them vertical games. Anyway, this has been Emi Chicken from Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the flippity flip flip. Bye!